How much of this is on Bob Melvin? I don't think it's too much. I don't think a whole lot is on Bob Melvin. And let, let's let's get to this because I know there were some people on social media that think, well, let's let's fire one of the 27 hitting coaches that they have, right? And I would say that can't hurt the Padres, I guess. You know, letting Ryan Flaherty go or letting Morgan Burthard or Scott Coolbaugh go. One of the other hitting instructors, let them go and say, well, we're trying to shake things up. But guess what? It's the same players that aren't playing well. They still have to go and just play better. And Bob Melman has said, the players, Nelson Cruz has said it too, they're getting enough information. They get a ton of information. The players are the ones that just have to be better on the field. And guess what? You fire one hitting coach, all of the other hitting coaches are still there. So how much of the problem is being solved by just letting go a guy that's not in the batter's box? You know, it's, it's not like Jace Tingler's managing. It's like, all right, yeah, Jace, you're not ready to be the manager. No, Bob Melvin knows what he's doing. The players are getting a ton of information. These guys are superstars. AJ Preller's done his job. Bringing in superstar talent, World Series contending roster on paper, right? That's what everyone's saying going into the year. And these players aren't doing their jobs. That's what it comes down to. So you want to make a scapegoat? Sure, make, make Ryan Flaherty a scapegoat. How much is that going to improve the team? I don't know how much that's actually going to improve the team. That's, that's how I view that. 